New Zealand Prime Minister Christopher Luxon hasn't wasted a second. Under urgency, the House has been sitting well into the night to pass as much legislation as possible. The country's central bank now has a single mandate to curb inflation. Dubbed the U tax by the National Party, the clean car discount has been axed. It provided discounts of up to $7,000 for electric and hybrid cars, paid for by an extra charge for high emission imports. Another major shift is a direction to the public service to use less Māori language in official documents. The government is planning to scrap the Māori Health Authority as well, an independent body that oversees care delivery and sets health policies. We're going to be a government for all New Zealanders. We want Māori to do well, we want non-Māori to flourish and do well. We know that when Māori are doing well, New Zealand's doing great. And so you know, we have differences of opinion about how to deliver improved outcomes for Māori. Part of it is, yes, we don't think a separate Māori Health Authority delivers that. We think there are better ways in which we can improve those outcomes. And so uh, our government's going to be very focused on delivery, improving outcomes for all Kiwis, uh, and that's what we're going to do. A change in government brings with it a tide of change. First up includes shutting down Te Pukinga, the mega merger of training organisations. In the new year, primary and intermediate students will do reading, writing and maths for an hour a day. A cell phone ban will be in place by term two and the English and maths curriculums being reviewed again. The responsibility I feel as a parent to make sure that my children achieve at school, and I'm a tiger mum, don't you worry, I feel that now for every single child in this country. It is a huge responsibility, also a huge privilege. There is a lot of work to do, but I tell you what, we're up for it.